you like comics, I like comics, let's talk about some comics in this video. I'm going to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night. As always, we do have some great titles, some great indie titles, and some great additional printings. So make sure you watch the complete video so you don't miss out. And if this is your first time on my channel, do a lot of comic and pop culture related content. So please consider subscribing, click that bell notification, that way you'll always be notified when a future video is dropped. We're gonna get right into it. Starting with Image Comics, we get that Walking Dead Deluxe number 13. Haven't talked about this series that much, everyone knows about The Walking Dead, but we also saw issues one through six get those additional printings, those David Finch variants, phenomenal. Those one in 25 black and white variants are super hard to find. Issue number 13, what I really like about this, that Julian Tedesco variant, magnificent. But what I like even more is issues 13 through 18 are going to have those Dave Raposa variants. Absolutely love those. So that's why I'm going to pre-order this one. I want to get that complete set. So I'm definitely looking forward to this issue. Next from Marvel, we get Women of Marvel number one. This is a great title. It celebrates female characters and the creative team is women. Some of those writers include Natasha Alterici. You may not know that name, but if you're a Vault Comics fan, I'm sure you know that Heathen comic series, she's the creator of that. There's a bunch of other female creators and artists involved in here, as well as some great covers. A lot of Peach Momoko fans out there. There's a great Peach Momoko cover, which is extra fire because we just finished that WandaVision series. And that Peach Momoko cover is a Scarlet Witch cover. And keeping with women and keeping with Marvel, going into that Star Wars universe, we get that Dr. Aphra number nine. A lot of heat on Dr. Aphra right now, especially with the way the TV shows are going. Everyone's waiting for her to show up in, on Disney Plus in some way, some form. Dr. Aphra, High Republic, super hot titles right now. This also has a killer one in 25, Ray Anthony Heights variant. I'm sure that's what a lot of people will be going after. There's also that regular cover A by Sway. Do not have the cover up for that at this time. And from DC Comics, we get Catwoman number 30. This is more of a cover pick choice for me. I have been reading the series. It is a good series, especially if you're a Catwoman fan. But the reason why I have this on here, is it does have that cover A by Joel Jones, fantastic artist in her own right. But I am loving these cover Bs recently from Jenny Friesen. Issue number 29 was gorgeous. Issue number 30 just brings the heat once again. So definitely pre-ordering that cover B. Jenny Frizen variant for Catwoman number 30. Which brings us into the indie showcase portion for this week. That's right, this portion is brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. All the books talked about in this video, as well as other books hitting Final Order Cutoff, are available to pre-order at blackcapecomics.com. Save that discount, get your pre-order in, guarantee your copy. But the first one we want to talk about this week in the indie showcase. I've been talking about this book on FOC and other videos but from Image Comics, we get Stray Dogs number three. Fantastic, fantastic freaking series. Love this. If you like a little Disney cuteness, but you take that smash up dark side and just mash it together, this is what you get in Stray Dogs. That's right. It's like Lady and the Tramp meets Silence of the Lambs, and I can't get enough of it. The art style in here is kind of like a Don Bluth animation. Fantastic. The story's been great. And it's written from the pet's point of view, so I'm really enjoying this. And I keep suggesting pick up Stray Dogs. The cover art's great. Also, they always got those homage variants. But if you haven't been reading Stray Dogs, highly suggest you do so. Love this series. Definitely going to pre-order this and keep it in my pool box. But the next one is also from Image. Getting over to Image with that Skybound. We are going into that Kaiju world. Ultra Mega number two is hitting Final Order Cutoff. James Heron. Definitely has a hit on his hands with this one. This is another one. If you haven't read issue number one, I suggest you do so. Full disclosure, I was able to get an advanced PDF copy of Ultra Mega number two because such a huge fan of this series and it does not let up. If you enjoyed issue number one, you're not going to be let down by issue number two. And if you didn't get a chance to pick up number one and your LCS might be sold out, we're going to get into another chance for you to get a copy a little bit further on into this video. But I am happy to see Image Comics come back with hit after hit recently between Radiant Black, between Stray Dogs, between Ultra Mega. The hits keep coming. Firepower. If you guys haven't been reading Firepower, definitely sleeping on that. It's another great read. But there's the Indie Showcase portion for this week. And now, like we always do, we're going to get into 
those additional printings. Sticking with Image Comics, Radiant Black just talked about how great that series was. Issue number two is heading a second printing, and they are doing it right with these because those second printings are getting a different cover image. Talked about on this channel before. I love it so much more when the additional printings have a different cover rather than just a color change to the original cover, and Image is doing that. But not only are they doing it with Radiant Black, but they are also doing it with Ultra Mega. That's right, Ultra Mega number one. Like I said, if you didn't get your hands on issue number one and your LCS was sold out, Ultra Mega number one is hitting second print and hitting FOC this coming Monday night. And not only are you going to get that regular cover A second print, but there's also a one in five incentive second printing cover as well. Also from Boom Studios, the book is releasing this coming week, but it's already going to second print. And that's right, we get that Power Rangers unlimited air to darkness number one another great boom title that i like that i've been talked about on here we're talking about supernatural meets scooby-doo with specter and specters issue number one sold so well it is also getting a second print and i didn't talk about it earlier in the video but issue number two if you're interested in this series issue number two is heading final art cutoff as well and then lastly from scout comics one of their big releases right now black cotton Number one is getting a second print. Love the creative team on there with Brian Hawkins, Patrick Foreman, with art by Marco Perugini, which, forgive me, because, as you know, I have been known to butcher names, so if I mispronounced the artist name, my apologies. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night. Make sure you get those orders in. Let your LCS know. Guarantee yourself a copy so you don't go walking in on release day and go, oh, you guys didn't order that or you sold out of that. That's the reason for this video. And good thing is a lot of times pre-order on this comics, you get a little bit of a discount. With that being said, this is Brown Simmons Comics. See you guys in the next video. She pull up, out this, she swerved. Do your two step, your little cat won't make it work. Make it work, do your dance, make it work. Strike a pose, make it work, do your dance.